definitely so. Of course it is. It so is. But what is it about Cannes? Why everybody likes it so much? Well, come with us and see for yourself. And let's just say this much. It took us some thinking to figure out the real secret of this Mediterranean beauty. So, you know the Cannes Film Festival. Elle est rare à Cannes, Julia Roberts. If you get a chance to visit in May during the festival, go for it. Anya and I had a blast last year, just soaking up the atmosphere at the red carpet and along the famous promenade, the Croisette. But there has to be more to Cannes than its festival. For instance, there's the beach. Look at it, it's wide and sandy, right next to the city center. with public and private areas, and you can do everything from sunbathing, to walking along the water, to having a picnic or playing ball. To feel royal, you just need to grab a drink in one of the many gorgeous beach restaurants. A coffee or even a bottle of water cost a little fortune, but hey, in exchange you get a front row seat with the most incredible sea view. Unless it's winter, like right now, and sand walls are piled up to protect the restaurants from possible flooding. Lunch usually is also very good in these places, but of course you pay a little extra for the location. To us, this is one of the most gorgeous beaches on all of the French Riviera and it's easy to hang out for hours. It stretches all along the Croisette for more than a kilometer. Just don't be fooled. You get it almost all to yourself in the winter, but starting around Easter, it will be much more crowded. And then there's the old town. Yeah, let's go for a view now. Did you know Cannes had a proper historical center? It's called Le Suquet nestled on a hill with buildings dating back way into the Middle Ages, the oldest being a tower from the 11th century. It's a little bit of work to come up here. But it's definitely worth it. All of Cannes stretches below you. The old harbor, the film festival building, the croisette starting behind the Palais des Festivals. And of course you can see the small islands just off of the coast, the Ile de l'Erance. We'll tell you more about them later. And of course, there's lots and lots of restaurants. They're all over the city, but here's the places you need to know. A cute little road full of bistros winds up the hill right below the old town. It's called Rue Saint-Antoine. Starts at sea level and is lined with numerous bistros serving Mediterranean cuisine. Bonjour tout le monde. You'll find lots of information about the places we mention in this video in the description below the film. Then there's Rue Hoche, parallel to the main shopping street. Here all you find is one cafe or restaurant next to the other. Tables are out front year-round. And again, don't forget about the beach restaurants on the Croisette and the many more places on the other side of the road all the way to the town hall. Bars are scattered all over the downtown area. A special tip from Anya and me is Harry's Bar at the far end of the Croisette, at the so-called Pointe Croisette, with Cannes' second big port. Enjoy an exciting cocktail at sunset. And Cannes is made for shopping. Cannes may be small, way smaller than Nice, but if you're looking for clothes, you can't go wrong with Cannes. There are lots of boutiques to choose from, no matter your budget. High-end shopping takes place along the Croisette once again. The usual suspects line up along the main shopping street, Rue d'Antibes. There are also a few typical French stores around, alternating here and there with a place for delicious pastries. Cannes definitely has a huge cultural offer in store as well. We mentioned the film festival, which is great for soaking up the atmosphere and looking out for VIPs. But if you really want to be part of a festival, you can do better. We suggest the Games Fair in February, the International Series Festival in April, the Fireworks Festival during the summer holidays, the Electronic Music Festival in August or the Energy Music Awards each November. And if you're up for art, there's La Malmaison, 
to name just one place for exclusive exhibitions. Did we almost forget the islands? You definitely can't miss them. A trip to the Lerins Islands is like a vacation from your vacation. This is where you go if you want to hop on the island. Yeah, catch a boat at the far end of the old harbor. And 20 minutes later, you're in a different world. Away from the hustle and bustle of the coast, surrounded by nature and quiet and by monks. If you choose the smaller island of the two, Ile saint Honora. You could even use your own boat to come over, but we'll take you on that trip some other time. The ferry is less than 20 euros per adult. The exact price depends on the island you choose and whether you buy your ticket online. So, Anya, I really like Cannes a lot. Same for you? Yeah, me too. I love it. I really like going there, guys. But we promised you to come up with a conclusion, right, Isla? Yeah, and it actually took us quite some discussing to really find out what exactly is it that makes it special. Yeah. And here you go. Isla is going to tell you. <laughs> so, as you've seen, there's all the bits and pieces that, that are just beautiful about Cannes. But what makes it so different from everywhere else is that is that everything is within walking distance so you can do everything one after the other going from shopping to the beach to to the island to the island have, have lunch have a cocktail everything within walking distance yeah water activities everything what you like to do is so close so this is our conclusion. This is why we think it's so special. So, but if you know another city, what has the same profile, right? Then just let us know. We would really like to know. Yeah, we thought of all of Europe, Southern Europe, nice, uh, similar warmth and sun and Caribbean beaches, but there aren't, we couldn't come up with any. So if yeah. you can think of one, leave us a comment below the film. Yeah, this would be great. And by the way, if you're thinking of coming to the film festival this year, go ahead and book your trip. As you can guess, prices for apartments and hotels go up a lot for those two weeks in May. So you want to be quick to find a nice place that doesn't cost you a fortune. If you get here by car, consider staying in a neighboring town. Anyway, we can promise you this much. you love it just as much as we do. If you liked our video, why don't you subscribe to our channel? and you'll get to see many more stories from the French Riviera.